Hey crafty friends, this is Nye with All Things Were Created. Today we are going to assemble our Christmas tree countdown paper craft. Now before we get started, I wanted to show you the paper that I used for my ornaments here. I was given this paper pad to review by Aya. She has the bleed shop on Amazon. I'm gonna add the link to her store um, in the video description. But so she had reached out to me and asked if I would do a review on one of her um, paper packs. And so when I went and took a look at her shop, I found this joyful Christmas set. And when I saw it, I knew that this was the project that I wanted to use it for. And so I'm going to just show you guys what this paper looks like. So inside the pack, this is a six by six inch um, set, but she also has 12 inch by 12 inch pattern sets in there. But inside the set, there are 12 different designs in here. And so what I did, these are the ones that I cut for my ornaments that you can see. Um, and so what I did was I used a little bit of the paper and I made it so that way I would use two ornaments would have each of the different patterns. So you can see this one here, like they are just so pretty, these patterns. And what's also really cool about her paper is that this, I think, is 160 GSM. Hold on, let me look at the paper for a second. Yeah, it's 160 GSM, which I think will work out to maybe be about 110 pounds in the paper weight. It is thick paper. This is not your traditional scrapbook paper that you would find at... Um, Michaels or Joann's, this is thick. And if you also remember with the cutting video, I cut this on the regular medium cardstock, 80 pound um, weight cut setting, and I had no problems. Just look at these patterns. They are so pretty. I love them all. I'm going to be using them for another project too, but <laughs> I'll be working on trying to figure out which one because I really, really love all of these patterns. So there were 12 different ones inside um, this pack, which is a really nice variety for the price point, okay? So I will add the link, as I said, um, to the video description so you guys can go and check out her store. And so, Let's get started now with putting the project together. So as you can see, I have my 25 ornaments here. I went ahead and I glued down all of my um, paper. So you can see this one here. I went ahead and glued down all of my paper with the ornament hooks already because I figured it was going to take a while and I didn't want you guys to um, get bored watching me glue all of my um, ornaments and papers down here. But I just wanted you, you to see how pretty they turned out with that paper and with the hooks here. And remember, I went ahead and used a shimmer um, gold for my hook. And I think I missed one. Um, so I'm going to have to find that when my video, when I finish the video here. Okay, so I will also be using my art glitter glue for all of my gluing. And so let's get started. Um... So I had cut all of these out on my chipboard here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add the glue right there a little bit on the hook. And then I'm going to take my paper. And as I said, remember it's thick, so I don't really have to worry about it ripping. And I'm just gonna place it down and use my finger to kind of position it in that spot to make sure that it's all lined up. And I'm gonna add a little bit of glue at the top it's coming up there. Add a little bit of glue right here at the top and across, and then add my hook to this spot there, okay? And so there we go. Oh, I just, I really like them. <laughs> I'm so glad that I decided to go with the project. And now, as you can see too, I have my numbers here off to the side. And so these were also another one that was really, really hard. Um, to glue because they were so tiny, but I made them tiny because I didn't want them to overwhelm the actual size of the ornament. I kind of wanted them to be a little bit small. And so I have my off offset that I did in black and then my numbers that I did in yellow. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue here 
And remember, the great thing about the art glitter glue is that it's clear. So if I add it a little bit too much and it gets off from where my number is, that's okay because it's gonna dry clear and there won't be any problems. So I'm gonna add these two here. And there's that one, just get it into the glue a little bit. So once again, I did my numbers ahead of time. So that way you guys don't have to just watch me glue these down for the entire video because that would also make the video quite long and time is precious. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and add my numbers to my bulbs here. And so you can kind of just eyeball them up where you think that center will be. Add a little bit of glue. I'm gonna go ahead and do this for a couple of these. And then I'm using my push pin to just put the number down. These are so cute. I just really like them. I'm so excited about this project. I hope you guys are gonna like it too. And again, I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue right here in the center. That one, the tree was upside down there, but it's okay, it's just part of the pattern. They're so cool. I love this little snowman face right there too on the pattern. Okay, and so that was seven, eight, nine, 10. And remember, if yours gets, um, if it's a little bit off-centered, remember you've got about five seconds, right? Before that glue bonds, and then you're stuck in the position. <laughs> so, and then 14. And again, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to do the same thing, just add a little bit of glue to all of these. So that way they kind of go a little bit faster. Okay, oops, 15, 16. I'm so excited for this project. 20, 21. Okay. Okay, so that was 21, and then these are the, just the last four here. So again, a little bit of glue, and whoa, I lost that one and just add it right there in the center, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay, so that finishes up the ornaments there. And look at how awesome they are. Oh, I'm really excited about them. So I'm gonna push them up now to the top here. Let me move my paper. And Put those right there. Actually, I might go off to the side so I can bring my tree in, because that's pretty big. Okay. So I have my tree here. I have it all stacked together. I don't wanna lose any of my ornaments here on my workbench. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the bows. So let me just slide it up a bit and hopefully you can see it there. So I've got my bows here and I have the pieces for my bows. I also have a skewer that I will use and I'm going to take the skewer and just kind of roll it along the paper here to kind of bend it and give it um, break up the fibers that are inside the paper to kind of make it um, a bit soft there. So I'm doing that on both sides. Plus it'll give it a curve without making it have a crease, a hard crease. And now I'm gonna take my glue and let's see if I can bring this up a little bit higher for you guys to see. Put a little dab right there in the center and then press and hold it. My glue is gonna come out a little bit and that's all right. 
hold it there for a second, give it a chance to dry, and I'm gonna add it a dab right on top as well. And then press that one down and hold it there. Give it a chance to dry. Then I'm going to take the rectangle piece. I'm going to add it right there on the top. <laughs> it didn't want to come up for a second. Kind of put that right there in the center and press it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put it back on the table and I'm actually going to use my skewer and press it and hold it down to really give it a chance to dry. So that way it becomes a little bit easier to work with. And then I'll take my glue and bend, bend it to fold that part of the ribbon onto itself. My nails are actually a little too long for this project. <laughs> so, I was able to do the other four ahead of time because like I said, I'm trying to keep the video short here of the assembly because the cutting steps video is really long. Okay. And then once again, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it back on the ground or the table here and press and hold it with the skewer just to get that um, tightness of the glue and give it a chance to dry. Okay. And then I'm going to add it to this back part of the ribbon. So just adding a dab right there in the center putting it right there and I'm going to once again use the skewer and press it and hold it there. So this skewer is, <laughs> it's like multi-use, right? <laughs> and the bottom part of the ribbon, I'm gonna bring those over there, okay? I'm going to line them up like this and just add a dab and a dab right there. And I'm gonna use my skewer again to pick this up and just put it there and press it and hold it and give it all a chance to dry. Okay. And so what you can see there, I'll have five little ribbons on my bows. So I'm gonna put these off to the side for a second so that way we can start to glue the actual tree. I'm even gonna move the presents off to the side and my star up here. And I'm going to start gluing from the bottom. So I remember how we cut two of the trees and then we cut our chipboard and we're going to sandwich it right in the center here. And this chipboard is actually more like it's, I don't know, it's not, it doesn't feel like wood for sure. It's almost more like the craft board but it's bigger. And so I'm gonna use my glue and just start gluing here. So that way the back of my design will also not be just this brown, but it will look like the back of a tree. Okay. And so now I'm gonna lift it up here. Actually, I'll flip it over and do it this way the paper will be easier to bend. Okay, let me get some glue. And then just add the glue everywhere so that way it's all gonna get covered. And then add it a little bit in the center. And then press it down to flatten it. And that's the back. Very easy. And so this centerpiece here, it's really just going to, um, as we do with some of our crafts, it's just gonna give the support that we need for this design, especially if you're gonna hang it, or maybe if you'll leave it on a table, I'm not really sure what your plan is. 
And so what I'm doing now is I'm just making sure that I've got it lined up. And I'm gonna use my hand to press it there, bend the paper back while still holding my hand there, which is gonna keep the position. And now I'm just gonna add the glue. And then press it down. And then I'm gonna come and do it from this end as well, bottom end. And again, using the glue, just getting all these parts of the tree. And then I'm gonna grab it and get it right in the center here. Okay, and then I'm gonna press it down make sure that it's all even here. Okay, so that takes our tree there. And now for the presents. So you have everything stacked up this way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip mine over. And so I remember to Do it like this. And I'm lining it up, and once again, I'm going to lift and add the glue probably to this part, so that way I don't go too high. And then press it down. And then do the opposite side. and then press it down again. And the same thing with these, these next layers, I'm gonna do the same thing, except I'm actually going to glue this part first. I think my glue's running out. I'm gonna have to get a new one. So, and remember what you can do is what I always do so I use my fingers to line mine up first and get all the edges correct, and then I press down. And that just helps to make sure that I've got everything secure. I'm gonna add the glue here now on the other side. And again, press it down. Same thing with my orange layer, except now I've got a bit more cuts and holes. So I'm gonna do these two. Well, I guess I'll just do the whole thing. Because <laughs> once I press it down, I'll have a hard time lifting up that part too. So I've got it in both of my hands. I'm going to use my fingers to line it up here. And that looks good. And then press it down. And if, remember, if you start to get any seepage coming out anywhere, you can use your push pin to kind of get it or just use your finger like what I did here at the bottom just to kind of allow all of them to stick. And so now this pink layer here. I'm just going around the edge here, the border, to get all of the different sides the center one here and the border again then I'll use my fingers to line it up right on top and so what we'll be able to see are these different colors for the presents so the presents will be solid wrapping paper and the ornaments will all have pretty patterns Okay, so this one, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave it here because it's really important that this one stays lined up. I'm going to flip this one over and glue it this way. And just make sure that you get all the different spots with this top layer, all the different, um, the edges here, 
because you don't want it to come up at any part. Okay. All right, move it over just a little. And now for the other side. So this is a really exciting um, craft to design. I was very excited about it. My kids and I, we're gonna have fun with this one, adding the ornaments as we go as we count up to Christmas, really. We count down to Christmas. Okay, so I'm just gonna press it down gently. I've got a lot of um, glue coming through on this side, so I'm just gonna use my paper towel here and wipe it to get all the extra and excess away. Okay, all right. And then what we'll do now is we'll take our bows back here and we can add them right to the top. So I'm just going to add it right there along the top and then just kind of press it and hold it. So remember also too, we used two different shades of red cardstock. Hopefully you can see that my ribbon is a little bit more um, of a maroon red and my bows are a bit more of a brighter red. And the reason why we did that is because we wanted to make sure that the ribbon and the bows were distinguishable. You could actually make your bows in different colors too if you wanted. Like if you wanted to do um, a yellow ribbon, that would have worked too. Or I don't know, well, I don't know if I would do green but because the tree has so much green. But you definitely could choose different colors. You could do white. You could even do black if you wanted. <laughs> and then I added that one to the ribbon. That's okay. So that's the presents and the ribbons on top. Now we're gonna add the star as well to the top here. So I'm just gonna position it to make sure I've got the right placement. And I'm adding, oh, almost lost my star. I'm adding the glue to the back of my star here. And there we go, just press it down. Get it right in the spot. And that's really it. And so then you're ready to just add your ornaments. And you can have fun, you know, kind of put them all over the place. They don't have to go, you know, straight counting across. You can add them everywhere. Let your kids or you have fun with just how you wanna place them. Now, I will say when I go to place mine on, I am going to use a foam dot to add to place mine. So I'll show you here. Let's see, I've got a lot of pink right here. I still have quite a few to go. And they can be on different angles as well. Oh, I love this one. It's so pretty with the pattern of the paper, of the ornaments, and it's just so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna change the direction here so everything's not so up and down and stiff. <laughs> okay, let's pull this down there. Oh, so cool. So I also have foam dots here. So that's what I'm going to use on the back of mine to make mine stick. So I'll do it like that and just peel that off. And when we go to add ours, this is what we're gonna do. And so it'll give it a little bit of dimension and make it a little bit more fun. And then when it's time to peel it off, well, will be very gentle <laughs> so that way it doesn't rip the paper the green either okay so thank you so much for watching in this video you guys I hope that you like it I hope you like this project don't forget to check out the store with um, all of this fun pretty cardstock um, and paper so I can't wait to see yours um, thanks for watching and happy crafting